Sun Contest, and I'm I'm still blown away by the by the magnitude of this event and and the way it's handed over every year to a new host. Um, I've always said that there are three success factors, if I can use that, for Eurovision Song Contest. The first is the legacy. Uh, Eurovision Song Contest has been around for more than 60 years, and every year we add a new addition to Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, and the other strong thing, a success factor for Eurovision Song Contest, is that it travels. It travels all around Europe. It has been north in, in, in Stockholm and Helsinki. It has been far east to Baku. It's been west to, to Dublin and, and south to Athens. Uh, and now, finally, it has come to Portugal and Lisbon. I'm, I'm very happy to, to be, uh, be able to, to, to be a part of that and to, to be here in, in Lisbon with all of you. And the third thing that is very important for Eurovision Song Contest, if you win Eurovision Song Contest, you host it the next year. And this has been a tradition for 60 years, and it has made it sustainable, and it has made it, uh, it, it is a, it's a great financial model, because a new broadcaster will take on the challenge of hosting it, uh, and it's an enormous challenge for, for a broadcaster to do that. Uh, but what I've seen, I've followed this process since the win of Salvador Sobral in Kiev uh, for, for almost six months, uh, almost six months ago. And I've seen the preparations from, from RTP and the way they have focused from this from day one. Uh, focused on the story, the narrative, um, make sure that what they do is not just a competition, but it is a competition with uh, a story behind it. A story that tells the history of Portugal, uh, the story we heard here, connections to the oceans, connections to the world, and how uh, Lisbon and Portugal is inclusive, uh, it's multicultural, and it's, it is um, um, a, f a friendly and good place to host Eurovision Song Contest. It makes me really proud to see how a member broadcaster can take on this enormous challenge. I know that they have gathered the best talent in Portugal, the best talent within RTP and outside RTP, and they've also gathered uh, a core team uh, from other countries in Europe that has the recent, ex recent experience to bring this show into Lisbon and to get it up and running in less than one year. Uh, as, as the chairman said in, in his opening speech, just six months from now, and these six months will fly fast. Uh, I'm confident that we will see three great shows and a fantastic event around that. Uh, with the help of the city of Lisbon, with the help of people in Lisbon and Portugal, and, and, and with the strong and methodic work from RTP. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing you all again and to be a part of this fantastic event in May. Thank you very much.